Amen. How's it going? So, you're probably wondering who my two friends are. That's Maggie and Rebecca. Maggie the blonde is my girlfriend. I met a week or so back. And Rebecca the brunette, I met across from the iPhone store about four days ago. Now, you're probably wondering what the heck they're both doing in my bed. But hey, hold on now. I don't usually kiss and tell. No, but seriously, I picked both of these girls up using my secret methods for meeting new women. That's pretty much automatic. This is pretty much what I do all day, every day. And today, I'm here to let you in on a few of my best secrets. You see, getting a beautiful woman to like you, or women, since we're talking plural in this case, while it's not quite rocket science, it is a science, a method to the madness, if you will. And today, I'm going to let the cat out of the bag and help you date one, two, three, heck, even four, Gorgeous women a week, just like I do. And some, even at the same time. So right here, right now, I'm going to start with my very first quick lesson to help you attract any beautiful woman. How to defuse every woman's number one objection. So let me explain the sweet science behind this technique, diffusing objections. You see, when you talk to any random woman, there are going to be several objections or reasons she should stop talking to you running through her head constantly when they are being approached by a complete stranger from why is this guy talking to me to how long is he going to hang around women are programmed to have a shield up and are looking for a reason to reject you and that's where this lesson comes in what you must do to succeed at pulling her is diffuse these objections before she even thinks about them so yes, that means you must take preventative measures if you want to win. You need to diffuse these objections before they even arise in her pretty little brain. Now that you understand the overall science of diffusing objections, there is one objection that is the biggest of them all and matters the most. And that objection is all he probably wants is sex. This one pretty much goes through any woman's head anytime she's approached by a random guy. Yes, this is the big one. Reason being, what woman wants to have even the slightest feeling you're looking at her like a piece of meat? And this is what they all assume, whether you have other intentions or not. So to wipe that thought from her head, you need to create somewhat of a diversion. And you do that by talking about all the types of things you're into that doesn't involve sex. Like traveling, salsa dancing, skydiving, horseback riding, etc., etc. Watch how I work my magic in this clip. The, wall the Wallaby Organic is really good. Sorry? The Wallaby Organic is really yeah. good. Yeah. yeah. Where are you from? Denmark. Me too. Are you? No. <laughs> I'm from <laughs> you Australia. Think you look Danish. Really? Yeah. Oh, my parents are from Poland. Oh, yeah, that's so. pretty close. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the thing is, people from Poland are usually more not so tan, apparently. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. yeah. Are you just traveling or? Yeah, I'm here. I work here. Oh, cool. Um, what do you do? I, I work as a model. Nice. I'm here for two months. Yeah. Okay. Are you on like the O1 visa? Yeah, I, I studied acting here. Oh, yeah, really? I just moved here a couple of months ago, oh, so... Cool. Yeah, what, are you enjoying it? Yeah, I like it. I mean, the weather's so nice. Yeah, so it, it's really nice. In, yeah. in, in Australia right now, it's just raining. Really? It's, yeah. I'm going to Australia, actually, straight after here. When? Um, to Sydney in October. Oh! Uh, I guess it's starting to get warmer there. Yeah, it does. Yeah. I'm actually going back to Australia end of September. Uh, yeah, like yeah. to visit family and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Are you traveling or are you just staying in Sydney? Uh, no, I'm staying in Sydney. Okay, I'm in Melbourne. 
Oh yeah, that's the capital city, right? Ah, uh, no, Canberra is. But Melbourne's like, you got Sydney here, and then it's just Melbourne's just below a oh. little. Yeah, so you, are you going to Sydney for modeling? Yeah, or? yeah. That's really cool. Yeah. How long are you here? You're here till October. October. Yeah. Okay. So are you staying in the area? You said. I'm staying, yeah, West Hollywood. Yeah, nice, nice. You want to hang out sometime? You seem like yeah, a cool yeah, chick. No. Can I grab your number? Yeah, cool. Do you have a WhatsApp? Yes, I do. Yeah, because I still have my Danish number. Right? Nice, nice. So, I'm just writing down. How do you make a... Which agency are you with? Photogenics. Okay, cool. Yeah. I have a few friends with uh, LA models. Oh, yeah, yeah, I know yeah, some there yeah. as well. And I'm staying in Studio City, so it's not... Oh, yeah. I actually go to uh, my gym in West Hollywood. It's on... You know Sunset Plaza? Yeah. The Equinox there? Yeah. Yes, yeah, so I actually go to that gym, so... Oh. Maybe we can uh, hang out, do something fun. Yeah, that would be yeah, cool. Yeah, awesome, you go. awesome. All right, thanks. I'll text you, all right? Yeah, do that. All right, yeah, try the Wallaby Organic. It's... Yeah, I it's, will. It's nice. I, I can see it from Australia. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, see ya. Okay. I'll text you, all right? Yeah, do that. All right, that. see ya. Did you see how I started talking about non-sexual topics? Her interest and intrigue level heightened, almost like a chemical reaction. You could see the extra enthusiasm in her face since it's like a ton of weight being lifted off her shoulders. You wanna give her a visual of different activities you're into. Show her you're a balanced guy and can teach her some of these hobbies that she's never done before. This builds an incredible amount of trust in her mind's data bank because once you can show her you can actually have lots of fun without sex, she'll think to herself, well, he's into other fun things we can do together, so he doesn't just want to have sex with me like the rest of these creeps. Yes, I finally found one. And once that thought crosses her mind, at this point, you pretty much have money in the bank. Mission accomplished. You have successfully executed pickup. And if you're wondering, Yes, this is one of the many techniques I used to pick up my friends from earlier, Maggie and Rebecca, both about four days apart. Now, you too can use the same exact technique and watch your phone fill up quicker than a casino in Vegas. For today, I only had time to share one technique in this video. And while it's a good start, there is a lot more to picking up women than just this one technique. And I refuse to leave you hanging. So. To learn more, click the link at the end of this video to watch a free presentation and learn many more lessons and methodologies on the art of pickup. And before you know it, you'll be a pro attracting beautiful women left and right. And by the end of it all, your new motto will be two. Or even three or four is always better than one. Click the link at the end of this video. It's either up here or down below. Click the link and I'll see you on the other side.